Hello, welcome to Let's Learn. Uh, today I will be taking mock interview of uh, Mir Moazzam Ali, uh, who is uh, preparing for Anglo interview. So let's start. So Mir, uh, introduce yourself. My name is Mir Moazzam Ali. I belong to Patna. It's the capital of Bihar. I completed my matriculation in 2015 and got 68%, 78% and after that I did diploma in mechanical in engineering from the state board of technical education Bihar and got 68% and after that I did BTEC in mechanical engineering uh, from Technocrats Institute of Technology Bhopal and got 78% marks. So I have uh, uh, I have uh, three brother, uh, three brother and sister. One is elder sister and one is younger brother. And uh, my uh, my father has business, and my mother is a uh, uh, primary section teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, so like uh, whenever you are giving your introduction, na, you should uh, like mm. be upright. Okay. Hmm. Be upright and then speak, okay? And uh, then uh, secondly, you told about uh, yourself and everything is okay. Then uh, what did you say? Bhopal, na? you completed it from Bhopal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So be a little clear. I was not, I heard Nepal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, okay. And uh, this thing, uh, like uh, father is doing business, na? Then you told father is doing this business. Your mother is a school teacher. You told, and ha, huh, you told yeah. that uh, you have three brother and sisters. Okay, you told like that, na? Yeah. Yeah. You all are total three or uh, like you have other no, than total three. Total three. So you not you should not say three brothers and sisters. You should say you have two siblings. Okay. 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 Two siblings. Yeah. Then otherwise it is okay, and you can also. Talk little bit about your hobbies, hobbies and like about achievements. Okay, just make sure that it is uh, like completed within a minute. Can you try again? Okay. Hmm. Uh, my name is Min Mazdam Ali. I belong to Patna, the capital of Bihar. Uh, I did matriculation in 2015 and got 78%. Uh, and after that, I did diploma in mechanical and got 68%. And then I did uh, B.Tech in uh, Mechanical Engineering from Bhopal, Technocrats Institute of Technology and got 78%. I have two siblings, one is elder sister and one is younger brother. And my father has a business and my mother uh, is a uh, teacher. And uh, my hobby is I like to play uh, football and cricket and sometimes chess. And uh, my achievement is, actually I don't have any achievement. Okay, okay. It is okay if you don't say about achievements. You can say about hobby. That's it. But some achievement you keep it back of your mind because the interviewer might ask you uh, about achievements because some of these questions are there: achievements, strengths, weaknesses. Uh, what was the last stressful situation you faced? All these questions are there. So you should keep these questions prepared. And while you are answering, now you just know you are just being a monotonous and look, looking like this. Uh, do some like movement and like facial expression little you should look excited okay all these things matters that you are saying about yourself you should feel excited it should not be like monotonous yeah okay okay so uh, then uh, why do you want to join merchant navy I want to join Merchant Navy because I know this field since 2009. Because my own uncle is a second officer in Marshall Ship Management uh, uh, Company, and I know all the pros and cons of about this field. So, and I uh, also wants to be a marine engineer. That's why I did my mechanical engineering to got that, to do uh, GME. So that's all about that. And uh, one, the thing that inspired me to join is. Their uniforms, and I can travel in in different countries along with a handsome salary. So that's all the things uh, motivate me to join the merchant navy. Okay. If your uh, if your uncle is in martial ship management, then why do you want to join Anglo Eastern? 
यू कैन जॉइन एट मार्शल शिप मैनेजमेंट ना बट एंग्लो ईस्टर्न इज द बिग कंपनी अदर देन द अदर एंड इट हैज मोर देन 700 वेसल्स सो देयर इज लेस नंबर ऑफ वेटिंग पीरियड एज कंपेयर टू अदर कंपनीज एंड इट हैज हाई सैलरी देन अदर दैट्स व्हाई आई लाइक टू जॉइन एंग्लो ईस्टर्न ओके Is it enough for that? You should uh, avoid about saying high salary stuff, stuff like that. Okay. Whenever you say uh, that you are interested in this field, okay, you can say these high salary points, promotion and points. But first, you should say that I am interested to work in the mechanical field. Okay. That I want to do uh, this thing. Uh, I will get to work on different machineries, pumps, boilers. i see engines and all okay uh, so then i will i will be in touch with my like core field okay so i will get mm-hmm. good amount of professional knowledge apart from this if if i keep on working hard for the next 9 to 10 years in a disciplined way in this field then it will provide me a really successful career something like that okay so you are saying that it will provide me successful career but you are not saying it directly that ha mere ko paisa milega mere ko ye milega wo milega okay वो एकदम थोड़ा खुल के yeah. बोलना एकदम कभी कभी थोड़ा है ना ये हो जाता है फिर वो ऐसे एंटर हो गया तो पैसे के ये सिर्फ पैसे के लिए आ रहा है इसको तो कुछ इंटरेस्ट नहीं है इसमें ऐसा mm-hmm. तो कभी कभी ऐसा थोड़ा होता है थोड़ा उसको बेटर फ्रेम करना आंसर के अंदर और दूसरा चीज़ मेरा एक क्रॉस क्वेश्चन है कि इफ इफ यू लाइक इफ यू नो अबाउट दिस फील्ड सिंस टू एंड यू वॉन्टेड टू गो इन मर्चेंट ने भी ओनली देन वाई डिड यू डू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग यू कुड हैव डन मरीन इंजीनियरिंग वाई डिड यू नॉट डू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग so in this way uh, the fee in in merchant navy is high the mechanical uh, engineering fee so as compared to uh, mechanical engineering so if we take lateral entry into the gme so it will not cost uh, too much uh, as in uh, marine engineering process we take now how much is the fee in this thing we take marine engineering Betting money in around ten to fifteen lakh, depend on the targets. For four years. For four years. Okay. So then, uh, then in this also engineering. In what was your fees in engineering? One lakh. One lakh. Okay. One lakh one year. Yeah. Okay. So four years four lakh. So now again you are paying. You will be playing around five to six lakh. So it will become ten lakhs easily. So it will. It is around like that only. या सो थोड़ा और भी कुछ सोचना कुछ बोलने के लिए तो सब क्रॉस क्वेश्चन आ सकते ठीक है ऐसा कुछ बोल सकते हो कि मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग जो है कि वो वास्ट डोमेन है इट इज़ नॉट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड टू मरीन सो आई विल गेट नॉलेज अबाउट डिफरेंट फील्ड एज वेल एंड इफ 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 आई हैव इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी नॉलेज देन आई विल बी एबल टू वर्क बेटर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट बेटर इन मरीन इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड ऐसे थोड़ा फेंकने का थोड़ा Uh, before keeping mind to join there you just taking the chances you will not work mechanical then you will do with money so then he will say a cross question you can say na ki if if i if i if i have knowledge of mechanical engineering then 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 i will be able to contribute better because if you know because in this world the in today's world uh, an engineer who has multidisciplinary knowledge then he is able to contribute in a better way that is why sir i felt that if I, if i am able to like uh, study the mechanical engineering is the mother of all all fields so if i am able to do mechanical if if i do my mechanical engineering then i can work on uh, the specialized course of marine engineering like that maybe these are, these i are can avoid uh, avoid to say 2009 that's only ah, ha, ha. best best the best family. best best avoid sabse best tarika ye hai के अपने जवाब को ऐसे रखो कि तुम्हारे को क्रॉस क्वेश्चंस मिनिमम आए अभी तुम 2009 बोल रहे थे फिर उसके अंदर तुम बोल रहे थे मार्शलशिप मैनेजमेंट ये सब जितना तुम बोलोगे ना तो क्रॉस क्वेश्चन आते जैसे कि मेरा मेरा जो सिम्स का इंटरव्यू था ना तो उसके अंदर मैंने बोला था कि ना मुझे फील्ड के अंदर इंटरेस्ट है मुझे अलग अलग मशीनरीज पर काम करने के लिए मिलेगा ऐसा वगैरह 
और मैंने ऐसा बोला था काम करने के लिए मिलेगा तो ये मुझे किससे पता चला है ये मुझे मेरे कजन से पता चला है जो मर्चेंट नेवी के अंदर काम करता है ठीक है ये मैंने ऐसा बोला था ठीक है तो मुझे एक इंटरव्यूअर का क्रॉस क्वेश्चन आया कि तुम्हारा इंजीनियरिंग तो 2020 के अंदर कंप्लीट हो गया है ठीक है फिर अभी 2023 है 2023 तक तुम काम कर रहे थे ठीक है ये तुम्हारा फील्ड के अंदर तो तुम्हारे जो रिलेटिव है वो तो बहुत पहले से काम करते हैं मर्चेंट नेवी के अंदर तो तुम्हारे को तो पहले से पता है कि ये फील्ड जो है अच्छी है इसके अंदर तुम्हारे को मतलब प्रोफेशनल ग्रोथ मिलेगा जो भी है सब कुछ तो ये तीन साल का डिले क्यों हुआ तुम्हारा तुम तो मतलब तुम तुम्हारे पास पास ऑन इन्फॉर्मेशन पहले से हो जानी चाहिए थी ठीक है ऐसा मेरे को क्रॉस क्वेश्चन किया था ठीक है मैंने ये चीज़ बोला था सिर्फ कि मेरा रिलेटिव से मुझे पता चला है कि मुझे इसके अंदर अलग अलग फील्ड पे काम करने के लिए मिलेगा तो हम जो भी चीज़ बोलते हैं ना उसको थोड़ा हमें सोच समझ के और थोड़ा ये बोलना है वैसे मैं एक टैकल कर लिया था उसके क्वेश्चन को लेकिन यही है कि हमें क्रॉस क्वेश्चन अवॉइड करना है तो थोड़ा वो हिसाब से फिर जवाब देना है तो ये टू और और दूसरी शिपिंग कंपनी का नाम लेना थोड़ा अवॉइड करना क्योंकि फिर इतना क्रॉस क्वेश्चन आएगा कि भाई तुम मार्शल जी मैनेजमेंट में क्यों नहीं जा रहे हो तुम इसमें आओ समझे This is your uh, which attempt and uh, like uh, why you failed? Okay, I say third attempt. Third attempt. Okay. So what happened in the first two attempts? Uh, I, uh, in first attempt, uh, I was not uh, prepared well. I don't even know the. Uh, actually, I just gave the exam when I was in eighth semester. So. and the written has cleared and then i appear for interview so i don't know how the centrifugal form and the cross questions they are taking and uh, and the next uh, second attempt i i prepared well then i start in cross questions related to brushing disc and the twist of four stop valve like uh, i said uh, i said to him uh, two stroke engine have less maintenance as compared to four stroke engine then he said to me uh, why and then i said uh, two stroke has less component as compared to four stroke so he said to me which component is less i said uh, two stroke have port and four stroke have valve so so what he said to me but marine engineer engine have valve so how you can say yeah exhaust valve exhaust valve exhaust valve and brushing this pressure and temperature so i don't know i was not for that time Okay. So I'm, I was asking this question as an interviewer, na? No? You will answer like this in interview only. Yeah. Okay. 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 Don't give too much details. Eh? All the questions, which questions were asked, bursting this, this and that. Okay. Then he will again ask that question, maybe something like that. So okay. keep it short. Keep it short. Don't give too much details. Keep it short. That sir, I wasn't prepared well. Then I go. I went through my basics and everything. I practiced uh, like how will I, I will answer my questions and all like that. You can say like that. Okay, don't give too much details. Uh, when was uh, when was the last time you faced extreme stress and how did you handle it? Uh, in uh, in my cousin wedding, uh, so uh, the all the uh, responsibility given on my shoulder. so because i am the elder of uh, all of them so so at that time i felt little bit stress and i handled it and i handled it yeah. okay no problem see whenever this question is come. asked na whenever this question is asked na about stress so you should remember the star technique okay star technique what is the situation s what is the situation okay what was the task that you were required to do t mm -hmm. what action did you take okay a and what was the result r okay you should frame your answer in this way whenever you are asked how did you handle extreme stress like this na so then you should uh, frame your answer in this way star stress what was the situation what was the task you were faced with what action did you take and what was the result okay so now you think of some situation and try to frame it like this okay do you want to try it now or you can remember this point and you can like in your free time you can you do this yeah yeah i will try it. oh yeah so i was not aware of this question 
I I had during my preparation, na I had made one list of questions around twenty nine, thirty twenty nine questions are there. I'll send it to you. Okay. Sometimes you should you should like work on the non technical side only because we are so focused on all all technical sides, na then we completely forget about non technical sides. Non technical, uh, especially on ang Anglo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what happens na in the interview normally the first questions which are asked those are non technical questions only, and If if we don't say that properly, na it affects our confidence as well. So you should be prepared about yeah. that. So practice that. That is important. Okay. So now let's move on to this thing, technical questions. Draw and explain uh, centrifugal pump. Do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. Draw and explain a centrifugal pump. I was not labeling. Is no, no, it, label, uh, label also. Right to label all. Yes, yes, label, label. Them. And you are practicing all these drawings and all, na? So about centrifugal pump, gear pump, VCRS. Hmm. Yeah, I. Yeah, I practice. Yeah. yeah. Because directly, because these questions in interview, you know, they ask only to draw and all. And that time, if you have never practiced, now then you will take too much time to draw. So and that that it frustrates the interviewer. In one of my interviews, began to say, "Literate told me, 'Are how much time you are taking to draw?'" <laughs> you should practice it. So three three minutes three minutes is more than enough. Can you bring it closer? थोड़ा लेफ्ट में करना है तुम्हारा राइट हाँ बस बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया बस एक चीज जो तुमने इंस्ट्रक्शन लाइन बनाया हो ना इन दैट इन दैट यू हैव टू लाइक कंट्रॉ कंटिन्यूस लाइन टिल द केसिंग ओके फ्रॉम द सम टिल द केसिंग दैट आल्सो यू हैव ड्रॉन ड्रॉन डॉटेड लाइन दैट शुड नॉट बी द केस ओके देन सेकंडली सेकंडली इन इंपेलर ना इन इंपेलर यू कैन ऐड वन मोर इंपेलर विद बैकवर्ड कर्वड वेन्स ओके इन ब्रैकेट यू कैन राइट बैकवर्ड कर्वड वेन्स then uh, uh, third point the uh, delivery delivery pipe you did not uh, may, uh, this thing label i guess yeah mm. delivery pipe is it uh, this charge valve first and then delivery pipe ha no? uh -huh, this same it is the same uh, in up, up there i think Above uh, above above you above you above you you draw some, draw some pipe pipe and then you mention it delivery pipe. Yeah, yeah yeah okay fine so above is discharge valve then the delivery pipe. Mm -hmm. then you mentioned the direction of the flow wow. of water mm -hmm. and all that is good okay and one more thing this the tongue tongue means this thing uh, the smaller portion of uh, this thing your uh, This thing when just when this this starts up 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 when this volute casing starts yeah here yeah. ah ha ha this 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 yeah. this, this should na uh, like be closer to closer to the impeller okay it should not be gap is gap is like gap is increasing on both the sides you here you can see the gap is increasing this side also this side also yeah yeah um we dial chale okay Hmm. I'll send a photo. Just. Ah, and one more thing, you did not uh, this thing uh, um, label HS suction lift. Then the this thing suction head, suction lift. Suction head and this this charge head. Yeah, yeah. HS HD that you have yeah. to mark. Like this. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, 
Yeah, so now explain. Why are you smiling so much? When uh, when impeller rotates, uh, like working off a centrifugal pump, when impeller rotates, uh, uh, it creates negative pressure at the eye of the inlet uh, through which the uh, fluid is entered into the pump. And the uh, and the impeller uh, dis uh, deliver the fluid towards the discharge site. And then, and then? No, uh, should I need to say all the things? Yes. And uh, during explaining the work, uh, when the impeller rotates, uh, uh, the suction pressure of liquid goes below the. The uh, atmospheric pressure causes a negative pressure created at the eye of the uh, impeller. So, uh, because of this, fluid enters into the uh, casing and uh, the impeller uh, de uh, delivers the fluid towards the discharge site. As you can see, that the uh, discharge site, the cross section area, is keep increasing. Because of keep increasing, uh, the velocity of the uh, fluid is uh, decreases. So, because uh, because of this, the kinetic energy also decreases, and the kinetic energy being converted into pressure energy. So, uh, in this way, the centrifugal pump works. And I forgot to say that the when impeller rotates, it, it increases the velocity of the fluid. Try again if you want to say because the delivery part, na, it was okay, but the mm. suction, how suction pressure mm. is created, na, that you did not explain properly. Delivery pressure, delivery pressure part. Uh, 80-90% it was good, little bit extra points you need to add, little bit correction I will I will tell. Suction pressure part you see again, how suction pressure is created. When impeller rotates, uh, the suction pressure of the liquid goes below the atmospheric pressure, causes the negative pressure created at the eye of the impeller. Because of this fluid inter, uh, sucked into the pump casing and the, when impeller rotates, it increases the velocity of the fluid because of this kinetic energy also increases and fluid uh, uh, delivered towards the discharge site as discharge site cross sectional area is keep increasing okay discharge part uh, you and discharge discharge part one, one discharge part you have already explained no? suction part so in suction part you are saying that no, the pressure drops below okay, pressure. negative pressure is created suction pressure drops below the atmospheric pressure then it creates it is one and the same thing negative pressure and suction pressure okay first you are telling what negative pressure how negative now what is negative pressure then while explaining now how it is created you can explain it in a better way let me try to explain if, if i was asked how suction pressure is created how i would explain okay so when first you should start with there is a structure of structured way of answering so first you should start with some basic components of centrifugal pumps okay and what is its working principle okay so you can say centrifugal pump is a rotodynamic pump which works on the principle of centrifugal action. Uh, it has a rotating impeller uh, and uh, it has a rotating impeller which is driven by a motor and it rotates inside the casing. Okay. As the motor is turned on, the impeller starts rotating inside the casing. Inside the casing there is water due to this kinetic energy is imparted to the fluid and due to centrifugal action the fluid moves radially outwards from the eye of the impeller or the center of the impeller towards the outlet of the impeller due to this radial movement a vacuum is created at the eye of the impeller due to this the the sump being at atmospheric pressure the fluid enters through the suction pipe into the eye of the impeller this is how suction is created inside the centrifugal pump okay so here see i said that you while explaining you did not talk about it removes radially outwards okay you missed that point okay you didn't you have to say that because radially fluid is moving outward that is why uh, the vacuum is created at the eye of the impeller you did not tell how vacuum is created at the eye of the impeller okay so these parts were missing and in the discharge you said that in this discharge na, 
you should say that the high kinetic energy fluid at the outlet of the impeller enters into the volute casing the volute casing is designed in such a way that you said area okay kuch kuch logo ko aisa trap kiya but it has been observed that some people have been trapped because of saying this word area so it is better to say volume since the volume of the volute casing keeps on increasing towards uh, the discharge towards the delivery pipe as the volume increases then you said correctly that area or volume decreases then kinetic energy decreases because kinetic energy decreases pressure energy increases just one point you can add you can say that by bernoulli's principle uh, since kinetic energy is decreasing pressure energy increases discharge part you say, said mostly it was correct just you need to work on the suction part in one question i made uh, so much i no no worries bro yaar see it is all about confidence the interview is all about confidence yeah. pura confidence ka khel hai okay if you are going worried in the interview that i don't know i i will not be able to answer so if you are not believing in yourself how will the interviewer believe in you right yeah correct because he is going to yeah. employ you okay and so he needs that self confidence in you he wants to make sure that you have your self confidence so you should be confident okay aise attitude se jana hai ki pehle se main selected hi hu okay aisa kyunki yeah. the moment on your face it appears that you are not confident you are very worried and all na the interviewer will automatically catch on that and uh, like he'll grill you then uh, can you explain uh, the working draw and explain the working of a gear pump itni zyada teed banane ki zarurat nahi hai bahut zyada bana diya unnecessary time le raha hai zyada ye thoda hi banana hai bas khali 7 8 teed rahe bahut kafi hai acha ये ये तभी बोलो इतना टाइम क्यों लग रहा है इसको बनाने के लिए और ये इयर्स के अंदर ऐसा नहीं होता है तुम्हारा मतलब ये अभी कैसे तुमने देखो दोनों दोनों साइड का जो बेस जो है दोनों दो तीत का जो बेस जो है दोनों को जॉइन किए हो तुमने विच इज नॉट द केस ये तो स्प्रॉकेट जैसा लग रहा है ये, ये लॉक कर दिया मैंने वहां पर हम्म नहीं वो नहीं बोल रहा हूँ मैं गियर का तीत का बात कर रहा हूँ गियर का तीत का बात कर रहा हूँ ये कैसा है कि स्प्रॉकेट जैसा लग रहा है मतलब थोड़ा मतलब यू हैव सी ऐसा मतलब वो मैं फोटो भेजता हूँ रुको तुम्हारे को कैसा रहना चाहिए तो वो आशीष का पीडीएफ देखो ना उसके अंदर भी है बनाया हुआ कैसा होता है हाँ देखा है मैंने हाँ नहीं पा रहा क्या तुम तुमने दोनों एंड जो दोनों बे दोनों तीत का जो दोनों तीत का बेस है वो दोनों को ज्वाइन कर दियो मैश करेगा तो अंदर ये केसिंग के साथ नहीं केसिंग के साथ नहीं मतलब जो पिच सर्कल है ना पिच सर्कल उसका तो उधर जो बेस जो होता है तुम्हारा ये देखो फोटो भेजा मैंने तुम्हारे को समझ नहीं आ रहा मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं अभी देखो ये फोटो देखो हां समझा मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ अभी अच्छा 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 हाँ ये क्या स्प्रॉकेट जैसा लग रहा है ये दोनों दो दो, दो तीत का दो तीत का बेस आके मैच हो रहा है वो नहीं होना चाहिए ओके तो वो तुम वो फोटो देख लो कैसा बनाया हुआ है गियर्स कैसे होते हैं गियर्स ऐसे ही होते हैं ना मतलब ऐसा होके फिर उनमें देर इज अ गैप जो लैंड लैंड बोलते जिसको वो फिर ओके तो वैसा होना चाहिए सो यू सी द ड्रॉइंग ओके और फिर तुम्हारा वो केसिंग के बीच के अंदर जो क्लियरेंस जो वो थोड़ा फाइन होना चाहिए ठीक है इसमें कैसा लग रहा है कि तुम्हारा वो जो दो दो तीत के बीच में गैप होता है उसमें ट्रैप होके नहीं जा रहा है फ्लूड ठीक है वो पीडीएफ से एक बार देख लेना तुम कैसा ड्राइंग है क्या है ठीक है ड्राॅइंग थोड़ा तुम्हारे को ऑफिस करना पड़ेगा बराबर से ड्रॉइंग सही नहीं है ठीक है एक्सप्लेन करो वर्किंग ना एक्सप्लेन द वर्किंग Gear pump is a positive displacement pump, uh, positive displacement pump, and it is used for uh, high head and low discharge. 
and it has two identical gear with different shafts. One is driver and other is follower. Driver moves clockwise direction and follower moves anti-clockwise direction uh, with the help of driver. So when uh, when gear when gear unmails to at the inlet side, it creates expanding volume. Because of this negative pressure pressure created at the eye of the uh, at the in, uh, at the inlet side, to which the fluid enter into it, and that to uh, fluids trap between the cavities of the gear and the pump casing, and it uh, delivers towards the discharge side uh, with the periphery of the casing. At the discharge side, uh, we can see that the gear is uh, meshed. Because of meshing, it decreases the volume. And, it, uh, it, it it the vo decreases the volume. Decreases the volume, and because of this, pressure uh, is increases. So in this way, uh, gear pump works. Okay. Do I need to add a law? Which law? Uh, on which law that uh, volume decreases and pressure increases? Do I need to add a uh, law? For no. Only law. This much is correct. You said this answer was uh, correct. Fair enough. Yeah. Hmm. Just practice it a little bit, thoda sa or about that fine clearance. That uh, due to the fi fine clearance and all the fluid doesn't flow back, all that. Okay, so in diagram you show all these things properly. Okay, then in diagram also you show pressure relief valve. Otherwise your explanation was you covered all the points uh, that on inlet side how pressure is uh, suction pressure is created. Ah, uh, then how it is transported ah uh, uh, along the uh, around the casing. And third point, yes, uh, then how it uh, the gears can come again in mesh, and due to which volume decreases. Yeah, it was correct. Just you work on the diagram. Yeah. <coughs> is a um, is a pressure relief valve required in positive displacement pump? Yes, pressure uh, relief valve is required because the positive dis uh, displacement pump used for high head. It means high pressure as compared to non-positive displacement pump. That's why we need a uh, pressure uh, relief valve. Okay. You can add some more points like uh, since like uh, it is a positive displacement pump, so it positive it. Continuously traps fluid and keeps on delivering uh, it to the delivery pipe, even if the discharge valve is closed. Due to this, the pressure keeps on increasing and may burst the delivery pipe. Okay, and damage the components. So that is why a pressure relief valve is required. Okay, we just said that high head it produces high head. Okay, you need to say about that it positively displaces the fluid. so it keeps on trapping the fluid and the it keeps on delivering the fluid so head keeps on increasing and it can damage the pipe okay can we run the positive displacement pump with closed valve no what is archimedes principle archimedes principle is said that uh, when a when a object partially or fully immerse in a liquid it lifted up by a force that force will be equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body fair enough okay just you can name the force it experiences an upward force you said na which is called the buoyant force uh, other than that which is the buoyant force ah yeah other than it was proper what is the bernoulli's principle Bernoulli's principle states that uh, for an incompressible liquid flowing in a continuous stream, uh, their particle can move from one place to another, but the total energy remains same. Total energy remains same. Which total energy? Sum of pressure energy, kinetic energy, all that. Uh, total energy is the summation of potential energy, kinetic energy, and potential potential kinetic and pressure free energy pressure pressure energy
draw the block diagram for VCRS cycle and explain its working. Well, it's not exactly, you have drawn it, but uh, just check out this the, this PDF, na. in that it is uh, like drawn properly or I can I can send you a photo of it. Is it okay if I not mention the refrigerant, vapor refrigerant, liquid refrigerant, low temperature pressure? Is it need to mention or while that, uh, making that drawing? It is okay if you don't mention that, but at least you should draw thermostatic expansion, valve and everything, that at least you should draw. You just draw, drew the expansion valve, okay? That so, is better way, to the condition that to write TEV? TEV, yeah, that or is also okay. TEV or TXV, that is also okay. And the other is about sensible capillary tube. Huh. It's not good. Yeah, what not good? Sensible capillary tube. I didn't make a good diagram of sensible. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am sending you the photo of it. It is also in Ashish's PDF. You can check from that also. Okay. How much should we have to take while making that round? Is it enough? Three minutes, minute? three minutes is more than enough. I think. Uh, we should have to make uh, within one minute. Within one minute, sometimes it is not possible. Two minutes, two and okay. I have I have tried to draw like I practice many times. Two minutes lag jata hai banana ke liye. Two se aadhi minute lag jata hai banana ke liye. It around it takes around two minutes. So two minutes and max to max three minutes it is okay. I I was thinking uh, we need to make uh, uh, draw drawing in within one minute. No, no, it is not like that. That's why minutes, I do fast. See, 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 in 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 drawing fast, if you miss important details, then what is the point? If you miss now, he will think that you do not know about it. He will think that you will you don't know about it. Okay. So now explain explain the working. Explain. Ah, yes, explain the working of VCRS cycle. When low, uh, low temperature, low pressure, saturated vapor is present, enter into the compressor. The compressor compresses it asentropically and increases its, uh, its pressure and temperature. And then it sent to the uh, uh, condenser, where condenser condenses it uh, isobarically and, decrease, uh, and release the heat to the atmosphere. Uh, because of this, uh, temperature decreases. And uh, because of condensation takes place in condensation, condenser uh, liquid uh, vapor refrigerant convert into liquid refrigerant, and this uh, liquid refrigerant uh, sent to the uh, this low temperature high pressure uh, liquid refrigerant sent to the dryer, where dryer has spherical gel that absorb moisture from the refrigerant, and then it sent to the expansion valve. Expansion valve expand the refrigerant. Uh, as in thalpically and uh, decreases its pressure and uh, uh, that low temperature low pressure liquid plus vapor refrigerant enter into the evaporator evaporator absorb the heat from the room or we can say the source and they con uh, convert the uh, liquid uh, vapor liquid refrigerant into completely saturated vapor refrigerant and in this way the uh, cycle is run and there is a sensible valve uh, uh, at the discharge side of the evaporator that sends the temperature of refrigerant. If the te temperature of refrigerant is low, so it uh, sends a signal to the expansion valve to uh, decrease the flow of refrigerant uh, into the evaporator. If the uh, uh, if the temperature is uh, uh, refrigerant temperature is high, uh, it gives the signal to the expansion valve to increase the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator. And this way, uh, refrigeration cycle works. And it go continue. How does the sensing bulb work? Uh, sensing uh, bulb sends the temperature uh, the, uh, of the refrigerant that coming from the evaporator side. It sends the uh, temperature and gives the signal to the expansion valve. And expansion valve have, have dipram. Uh, and it's connected with the help of capillary tube. 
when the temperature is high it is connected to uh, expansion valve hmm. what, what is there on the other side of the capillary tube one side you said there is diaphragm Under? diaphragm Di- in expansion valve there is diaphragm huh? and it is connected to the capillary tube what is there on the other side of the capillary tube other side is sensible valve okay. then where is the sensing valve placed uh, the discharge side of the evaporator okay. explain further explain now so when uh, sensible valve sense the temperature if the temperature of the refrigerant coming from the evaporator is increases so it uh, give the signal to the how does it give the signal to increase with the help of capillary tube how is it working how does it work how does it provide that signal actually i don't know about this okay it's only low that it gives the signal how does it work so in the sensing bulb na there is also the same refrigerant is there okay so what happens so if if see if say the temperature is high okay so what will happen if the temperature is high then the sensing in the sensing bulb more amount of liquid refrigerant which is there more amount of liquid will evaporate turn it into vapor whatever because higher temperature is there so that way what will happen it will impose more pressure on the diaphragm okay and so it is more overcoming more uh, pre- exerting more pressure on the diaphragm so it will overcome the spring pressure and the evaporator pressure and push push the spindle spindle of the thermostatic expansion valve down that way uh, or the orifice the opening of the thermostatic expansion valve opens more and more amount of refrigerant enters okay i i'll send you one video in that i have i have explained complete working so basically so, in capillary tube uh, have same refrigerant yeah that if, uh, yeah in sensing bulb and capillary tube yes and it, it, it evaporate and yeah. increase its pressure as per the condition of the refri- refrigerant at the exit of the evaporator hmm? evaporator yeah yeah, yeah. So basically the pre- when the pressure increases and that pressure exert uh, on the diaphragm to open yeah. the uh, in normal the condition na, in normal condition in normal condition Uh, that that this diaphragm pressure is balanced by the this thing spring pressure spring ha uh, spring pressure one spring pressure there is superheat adjustment screw is there okay so from that the spring pressure is there and the evaporator pressure is there so there are two pressures and one pressure is from uh, this thing your uh, capillary tube i will send with i have a diagram of it there one pressure pv ps ps is ps is spring pressure pe is evaporator mm. pressure pb is bulb pressure or sensing bulb pressure pb is bulb uh, cap uh, sensible bulb pressure ah yeah sensing bulb pressure ps is spring spring pressure and other pe and other pe is, is evaporator e. evaporator pressure how oh, oh, evaporator pressure is work on it. evaporator is there na from the orifice it passes na see from condenser one line is coming the uh, is, is it a refrigerant pressure sorry or evaporator pressure no no it is evaporator is it pressure yeah evaporator ref- refrigerant pressure in evaporator that pressure is yeah yeah the pressure which will be there in the evaporator that pressure hmm so explaining is enough or or need to add no no it is okay of... vcrs you explained it was okay yeah the sensing bulb you work on that okay i i'll send you one video okay in that i have explained go you go through it once you will get a good idea and you can also watch na gyan gyan has made one video on vcrs cycle have you have you gone through that yeah 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 so in that also he yeah i saw it. yeah yeah it, he, more, all the cross questions related to anglo and all that you can see which the are one question is what is the temperature yeah 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 so i am i was about to ask you that what what are the what is the temperature temperature in the evaporator temperature uh, temperature on evaporator is depend upon the what kind of refrigerant we are using so so what so what what refrigerant is used so if we uh, take an example of r134a so there 
approximately the temperature in evaporator would be minus 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Minus 18 to 20 minus 18 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Mm, minus 18 to minus 20 degrees. Okay. And, and what is the pressure? Pressure would be one bar. Pressure would be one uh, one bar. Uh, don't say very. It will be around. You should you should around one bar. Yeah. Approximately one bar. Approximately minus eighty. Approximately one uh, bar. Approximately uh, one bar. Mm. Okay. And uh, what is the uh, what is the this thing? Uh, pressure in the condenser. Pressure in the condenser. Condenser would be around uh, thirty. Uh, 30 bar, approximately 30 bar pressure. Around 10 bar. Around 10 bar. 30 degrees Celsius, I'm sorry. 10 bar, around 10 bar. Yeah, but yeah, here, here, also, bar? here also you have to say that it, it varies from refrigerant to refrigerant. You have to start with like this, this only. So it depends on the refrigerant. But for a R134A refrigerant, it is like this. Then you have to see. Okay, what is the what is the uh, this thing temperature? Temperature in condenser. Temperature in condenser. Yes, yes. Uh, condenser. Uh, maybe if the. If the temperature in compressor is 30 degrees Celsius, then condenser would be around what would be like 10. If you go, go through that video 15. again, it is after after the compressor, it is around 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, after the compressor, then uh, this is in superheated state. Okay, so then uh, it undergoes the, the mm -hmm. superheated mm -hmm. vapor. This superheated vapor, it uh, and uh, when it passes through the condenser, it undergoes condensation and at the exit of the condenser, mm -hmm. there is uh, the temperature is slightly lower as compared to what it was at the entry of the condenser and it is around 30 degrees Celsius Okay, at the exit of the condenser and since it is an isobaric process, so pressure is the pressure is the same. Okay. It remains constant. Yeah, pressure remains constant. Okay. To go through that video once again, I suggest. Okay. And whenever you whenever you go through that video and all now nah, you should note down these values and everything okay yeah <coughs> difference between a two stroke and a four stroke engine <laughs> uh, in two stroke engine cycle complete in one revolution of crankshaft and in four stroke engine cycle completed in to revolution of crankshaft. In two stroke engine, power generated in every revolution of crankshaft and in four stroke engine, power generated in every alternate revolution of crankshaft. Camshaft, uh, in two stroke engine, camshaft and crankshaft rotate at the same RPM. And in two stroke engine, uh, camshaft rotate half of the speed of uh, crankshaft. Mechanical efficiency of two-stroke uh, two engine is higher as compared to four-stroke engine. Lighter flywheel is required in two-stroke engine and heavier flywheel is required in four-stroke engine. And the two-stroke engine can rotate in either direction and four-stroke engine rotate in one direction. First three points which you said, na, those were fine. Okay. After that, now you lost the plot. You should, whenever you are asked all these questions, because the moment you will say about mechanical efficiency and all, is mechanical in two stroke has more mechanical efficiency, four stroke has like lesser mechanical efficiency. All these questions straight away will cross question you. Okay, these are very very dicey and risky points, so you should avoid saying that. Instead, now there are. Uh, uh, there are much better points and simpler points you can say which you uh, from and you will avoid cross question also and what about flywheel flywheel also you can say flywheel also you can say okay but you have to explain why smaller flywheel required why and all okay yeah 
if i say flywheel is lighter in two stroke engine uh, because uh, they are regular torque yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can you can see so that gans video gans video in, in that he has uh, he has explained uh, this thing complete all there are, he has told around 13 to 14 points okay and heavier uh, flywheel required in four stroke engine because uh, fly, uh, flywheel is uh, used to uh, absorb energy that is coming hmm. during the power stroke hmm. and that uh, energy is used for rest free stroke in four stroke engine yes the idle so uh, uh, to prevent from uh, speed fluctuation yes the idle speed stroke. fluctuation and mechanical efficiency why i said if a mechanical efficiency is higher because uh, in two stroke engine power come in every revolution of crankshaft that's why i said mechanical efficiency is higher is it okay crankshaft and yeah, yeah. what did you say about mechanical efficiency i said mechanical efficiency of two stroke engine is higher because in two stroke engine power generate generate in every revolution of crankshaft that could not be the reason because mechanical so efficiency is mechanical efficiency is your uh, this thing shaft power divided by the indicated power yeah brake power uh, ratio brake power and indicated power uh, indicated power so how much power is that doesn't uh, i don't think so this is the right reason to say about mechanical efficiency so i will avoid to say avoid avoid point. avoid unnecessary cross question is 5 point is enough no 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 5 points five are point? not enough there are many points of difference but you should one is i but you should you should see in if it was any other college that would have been okay but anglo and all and they are very particular about these things so you should say at least 10, 10 at least 10 points so one point is because of uh, uh, in two stroke every revolution have power stroke so it would be more thermal stress on mm -hmm. cylinder Is it okay? I saw yes, some rupees. lubricating oil okay. will be required more because there are more thermal temperature and all is high. That is all. But there are much simpler points which you can say, and you can avoid cross questions. Okay. That's why I said cross questions to me second attempt. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. because, because the moment you will say this, uh, it has less efficiency. It has less this thing maintenance, more maintenance. If you see all these points, yes. na, then they will uh, cross question you. So it is better to say simpler points. And your point should always be in the increasing order of complexity. First, all say you should say first all the simple points so that you avoid any cross question. Mm. More noise. This is because it's noise. Only the power is. So, three points. First One three point points. First three points three. you said, na that was right. Fourth point you said about uh, this thing, na. Uh, mechanical. mechanical efficiency okay your reason was not then right then flywheel yeah then flywheel flywheel reason you gave correctly okay so that is okay. and rotation of crankshaft ha that rotational so that in that also you can get a cross question that uh, how 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 for two stroke engines are reversible okay so he, there you can get a cross question so you should be prepared with that whatever you say you should be prepared with the cross question okay and one point uh, is uh, from your uh, picture is 
into a stock engine scavenging scavenging is poor that's why efficiency is low hmm. because in four stroke engine you have separate stroke for each of the processes so there is a separate stroke for exhaust stroke so that is why the the exhaust gases can be removed more effectively okay that is why so these these are important points so and i have point numbered these points okay so you should go in that order only and you go through that 30 anglo wala question na once it is a good this yeah. same okay. and five points are not enough you should say more points list uh, list out the boiler mountings boiler mounting is the seat check valve uh, water level indicator fuse well plug pressure gauge safety valve scum valve uh, blow off cock and air vent lock air vent valve she said uh, eight only and what is blow off cock a uh, blow off cock is to re, uh, is to empty the boiler blow uh, down boiler blow down valve you see then because like most of the people have said boiler blow down valve only which have all that said no, no, you, you said only eight only that is the valve mounting total 10 are there uh, one is a fit check valve water level indicator pressure gauge release valve Visual plug, scum valve, and blow down ba- valve. I don't know what you are missing, but there are ten. You just go through that uh, one more more time. See, uh, steam Air pressure, valve. steam pressure gauge, st- steam pressure gauge, uh, st- uh, pressure re- steam pressure relief valve, then air vent cock, uh, steam stop valve, feed check valve. boiler blow down yeah, valve steam stop valve ha uh, steam uh, boiler blow down valve uh, then scum blow down valve scum, scum blow down valve then uh, water level indicator then um, uh, this uh, low water level shutdown and fusible plug 10 uh, low to i i means to mm-hmm. low level low water level shutdown and other is how uh, is it uh steam stop stop valve. Valve. steam stop valve. okay 10 total 10 are there okay can do you want to explain working of all or i want i should ask only one or something uh, working of boiler working of mountings of all these mountings uh, if you can say i will explain uh, okay go go ahead explain explain the mountings all the mountings um first is uh, feed check valve feed check valve is used to control uh, control the flow of water into the boiler and second is water level indicator that is used to indicate the level of water third is pressure gauge pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure inside the boiler uh, and fourth is uh, safety valve safety valve is used to release the pressure that is used to prevent the accident uh, and it uh, it open completely to remove the excess pressure uh, until the pressure uh, comes to the working limit and then release valve uh, no fusible plug fusible plug is used to put off the fire when the water level in the furnace goes uh, below the working level and fourth is st- uh, and the scum valve scum valve is used to remove the uh while and foam that float on the surface of water an air vent air vent valve is used to remove the uh, air from the boiler uh, uh, that is uh, enter while uh, while filling the while filling the water inside the boiler it can enter and when, when the system is shut off uh, during that time uh, when the boiler is completely empty and that time air can enter So we need to remove the air before we start. Otherwise, it will make uh, the corrosion. 
and uh, steam stall valve is used to control the flow of steam uh, into the main streamline and blow off cork blow down valve is used to empty the boiler that is uh, used to remove sediment and uh, debris okay so like in if the interviewer had asked you like to explain all and then you would have explained in this way in short manner okay you have just told about two to three lines about each mounting okay if the interviewer is asking you to tell all the mountings together then you are explaining in this way then it is okay but i was expecting i was expecting that you will explain each in a detailed way okay because i wanted to know whether you know about all the mountings or not okay so can you try again by explaining each mountings in detail whatever you know about each of the mountings the first is uh, uh, steam uh, first is speed check valve speed check valve uh, the uh, speed check valve is used to uh, is used to control the flow of water into the boiler uh, that is connected with uh, with centrifugal pump uh, that is connected to the centrifugal pump boiler feed pump boiler feed pump and second is water level indicator there are two water level indicator on the boiler mounting so and that is one to, minute, uh, one in feed in feed check in this thing na feed check valve that you explained it controls the flow of water into the uh, yeah into the ha uh, into the steam drum okay then you can also say that it is a non return valve so when the boiler feed pump is turned off it avoids the back flow of water towards the pump you can add this point also now go ahead yeah now go ahead next next mounting uh, is wa- uh, water level indicator there are two water level indicator uh, in the on the boiler mounting that is used to uh, check the level of water inside the boiler drum which drum i only know boiler drum steam drum is there then uh, this thing is there water drum is there so where it is mounted on the stream drum or on the water oh, drum water drum water drum water drum is it enough no it is mounted on the steam drum water level indicator okay okay uh, explain that go is it is it enough for water level indicator just to indicate water level or yeah indicate the water level but you should know where is it is mounted you said that it is mounted in the water drum it is not right water drum can because there is only water so what level you will measure there in the stream drum there is steam and water so it is mounted on between uh, one like one tapping is mounted on the steam side and one tapping is mounted on the water side so from there you get the water level indicator water level okay so from those tappings it goes into a tube and on that tube there is water level mark marking and you have two in numbers because you if if one of the tappings is choked then not you not working ha uh, yeah yeah then you should not get the false indication that water is proper in the this thing and actually it is not that is why okay explain further other then uh, then press pressure gauge pressure gauge is i think pressure gauge is only used to measure pressure inside the boiler i just know about this only you can say that there are they are two in quantities these are certified ones because uh, uh, like uh, knowing the pressure inside the boiler uh, it is very critical so like that you can go through the pdf na in that pdf na it is nicely explained all these things i am saying from that only even if you go through that 52 pages think, of yeah. pdf na it is uh, like you will get uh, you will cover most of the all the important questions then safety valve i uh, safety valve is used to uh, safety valve is used to remove the excess pressure uh, uh, from the boiler that is open completely to remove the uh, excess pressure and until the and it stops the operation of the boiler until the pressure come back to the uh, set to the working uh, pressure and it is used to prevent accident to avoid accident Uh, to accident of 
Okay. And release. Actually, I I hey. just told you all the things that I only know. I don't work on it. The mounting to detail in more uh, in more. See, you should now. You should know know all the things because he can ask. Like he will not ask you or to explain all the mountings together. He will only ask one or two mounting. He will ask you. He will either ask you to list one or two. Ah, one or two. So he will ask you to list all the mountings, and then he will ask one or two mountings. Then he might he might ask what is boiler uh, blow down valve, what is cum blow down valve, what is air vent cock. So then you should be able to explain it. I suggest you go through the PDF now once it it is explained nicely over there. Okay, and prepare for that answer. Yeah, I saw detailed. Mm hmm. So if when you are asked to explain one single mounting, na, then you should try to explain in detail way. If you are asked to explain all the mountings together. Then you should only say two to three lines about important in the way you explained earlier. What is a bursting disc and uh, what is the working? What is working temperature and pressure? Bursting disc is a, a bursting disc is a circular shape, a pressure uh, pressure relief uh, disc. That is that burst at predetermined pressure, and it is a non-reusable -re disc. We can use only one time, and it, it is used to our. Which may use it? I have not told you. Yeah. It is a it is a safety device for which equipment? It is a safety device of compressor that yes. mounted so on. So you should start with that. Uh, in, It is a safety device used in a compressor. Uh, this is a safety Explain device again. of the compressor. Yeah. Safety uh, brushing this is a safety device uh, of a compressor that uh, that mounted on the uh, in cooler side uh, of the of the compressor, and it brushed at the predetermined pressure, and that is non reusable uh, non reusable uh, disc. And it uh, brushed completely to release the excess pressure uh, to avoid to avoid the happening of uh, happens of accident. How to is damage it, the how is this excess press how is this excess pressure produced? Uh, if there if there excess pressure can be produced uh, when the when the uh, in in intercooler in intercooler uh, like how this airline and all passes there are airlines right compressed airlines are there okay. And it is and in the intercooler body around it is surrounded by this thing the water. cooling liquid cooling water okay so in the mm -hmm. in the lines there is compressed there which is at high pressure so if if due to any reason the pressure like if there is some uh, this thing the air line is punctured punctured pipe. punctured suppose so this okay. air can escape from the uh, this thing pipe and go into the casing. And the pressure inside the casing will keep on build building up, and then the casing will burst, na. So this is how the pressure increases inside the casing. Okay. And the bursting disc will uh, will burst due to the leaky leakage in cooler. Yeah. In yeah. the intercooler. Yeah. yeah. If 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 due to some reason there is a puncture, okay. Hmm. I'll send it to you. And what about what? At what temperature and pressure does it operate? The bursting disc. Bursting disc will burst at predetermined yeah. pressure, but uh, exact pressure is depend on the uh, depend on the component. What can uh, uh, depend on the uh, is given by the manufacturer while manufacturing uh, the compressor. So. I can either either say approximately 1.5 times more than the working pressure, the bursting disc will burst, and the temperature is depend upon the material 
what kind of material we are using uh, in brushing this is it, is it enough that? i think so now 1.5 times pressure now i'm not sure about that okay but in one of the this thing orvin surge is this thing na sessions mm -hmm. someone had asked that uh, about bursting disc so there na about the working pressure while explaining about working pressure he told that uh, the <coughs> there is there is a pump there is a some hole made in the casing and in the casing there the bursting disc is fitted okay which is normally of copper or material like that okay and the pressure at which this bursting disc will fail na that is lesser than the this thing the 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 pressure at which the casing the casing will fail okay the te the strength the tensile the tensile strength of the the casing okay are you getting my point so this way the copper the disc no, the I bursting think. disc will fail first and then the uh, the material the the casing material will fail okay so when you said how is rust so i said uh, at predetermined value that given by the manufacturer yeah that is so right that is if right not then if, if he wants to say exact pressure so how can i say exact pressure you exact can never say or around approximately exact pressure you cannot say because it that, it depends on various factors I, uh, what is the thickness of the what is the thickness of the casing and all it depends on the casing material also and uh, uh, the casing this thing you getting my point because if if we if what we are doing over here is that we want the copper disc to fail instead of the casing so the the pressure at which the casing will be fail casing will fail it should be how much it should be higher than that uh, the the pressure which at which the the copper disc the the disc the bursting disc will fail okay so the pressure at which the bursting disc will fail it will be lower than the pressure at which the casing will fail okay you cannot give a value but you can the say that is this is the methodology behind designing at at what pressure it will fail and temperature na so that i think so it is a trick that it is a tricky question okay actually it doesn't work on the temperature it works on pressure only sir there is no fixed temperature it works on the principle of pressure so at excess pressure it fails that you can see it's uh, it's not like a feasible plug that melts yeah yeah feasible plug works on temperature but bursting disc disc works pressure. on pressure yes sir yeah and bursting disc ka na i have sent you boiler ka and now i have sent you bursting disc i'll send you difference between uh, uh, this thing centrifugal pump and uh, positive displacement pump centrifugal pump is a roto dynamic pump that work on uh, that use centrifugal force and the positive displacement pump uh, work on the positive displacement principle in centrifugal pump priming is required in positive displacement pump or it uh, priming is not required in centrifugal pump uh, it is used for uh, high discharge and low head positive displacement pump is used for high head and low discharge and positive uh, in positive displacement pump uh, the flow is uh, flow rate is constant no in uh, centrifugal pump relief valve is not required in positive displacement pump relief valve is required what about that you showed flow is constant all about uh flow constant that will not come over here because i have asked the, because i have asked about uh, centrifugal pump and positive displacement pump so that point will not come over here got it na if i say, if i say, uh, yeah. if i say the centrifugal pump of constant flow rate in centrifugal pump have constant flow rate so it's not work you say, what, if i what, say what, what did you want to what did you want to say sorry sorry again again say i said uh, like uh, between centrifugal pump and positive displacement pump i said uh, i said uh, the flow rate in centrifugal pump is constant 
uh, I was thinking to the reciprocating pump. There is a fluidity fluctuating. So it's a uh, positive. So it means consider all the reciprocating in here. So that point will not work. Air vessels wala point you want to say. Air vessels wala na. That will be in centrifugal pumps and uh, this thing. Reciprocating. Reciprocating pumps. In centrifugal in pumps and positive displacement pumps, you can say one point that uh, centrifugal pumps. Uh, in centrifugal pumps, the flow, the 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 flow varies with this thing, head. Okay. Flow varies with head. Okay. But in case of uh, positive displacement pumps, the the this thing, the um, the flow is uh, this thing uh, constant with head. Flow is constant, na? If you draw a curve, then the head keeps on increasing, but flow is constant. Yeah. In positive flow is depend on head, increasing head. In centrifugal pumps, centrifugal pumps the flow varies na with head. In centrifugal pump flow is varies. Ah, flow head. varies na. H versus Q curve, if you see, it is like this. So as the flow increases, the head also varies. And in positive displacement, in positive displacement pump, pump your uh, this thing, your head head keeps on increasing with flow. Sorry, uh, your flow is constant. Even when your flow is constant, the head keeps on increasing. So yeah, mo mostly you said correct point. What about ma maintenance? Maintenance, maintenance one don't say, don't say unnecessary. Four to five points. These points are good. First, you should Because only say these yeah. five points. First, these points you should only you should say. First, most of the ones that centrifugal pump working principle and that you said that was right. Then you said about uh, high discharge all a point that was right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you said about priming, priming that was also right. Then you said about pressure relief valves. That was also right. Okay. One more point you can add that that I told now. Okay. Even if after this he wants more points, then I I'll send you this thing. I have total eight points. Okay. I have made total eight points. But you should avoid saying points after five. In this, if he you will come to know from the interviewer only. Interviewer. I, Keep keep straight only this thing. I'm not uh, your image is coming. Keep your phone phone straight only, na. Yeah, yeah. I use charger that. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I've sent you the point of differences. What is Faraday's law? Uh, <clears throat> Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction have two law. Uh, first law said that whenever we put conductor in a varying magnetic field, an EMF will induce. If the circuit is closed, the current will induce. And the second law says that the induced current is equal to the rate of change of flux. What is Lenz's law? Lenz law gives the direction of the induced current. Uh, it says that the uh, the current will flow in such direction that it opposes the produ producing of it. It produces a magnetic field which opposes the cause which has produced it. The cause which has produced. Explain the safety devices in compressor. The safety device is a relief valve, usual plug, brushing this, lube while low pressure alarm and shift, water no flow alarm, and water high temperature alarm and shift, motor overload shift. Can you explain each of them? Mm. Relief valve. Relief valve is uh, mounted on the discharge side of the compressor, and uh, and 
and the compressor uh, and the that is started on the compressor that is used to uh, remove the release the excess pressure okay and the uh, second is brushing disc that i the brushing disc is a circular shaped disc and that is used to that that is a safety uh, safety disc that i uh, used to uh, release the excess pressure and it, uh, it brush completely to remove it remove the pressure and it's non reusable disc it brush at predetermined pressure Second is a loop while low pressure alarm in fit. Whenever the the pressure, when the quantity of the loop while is decreases in the in the some in the some area of the compressor, the alarm will happen. And if not, uh, if not if not up, then uh, then trip will happen. Then it will trip. Second, water no flow alarm. So if the if the flow of water uh, is uh, is irregular is if the flow of water is not uh, the water will not flow through the jacket of the cooler and then the alarm will happen and uh, if any uh, if uh, any blockage in the water the Water level uh, temperature will increase it and it will alarm alarm instantly. If there is less less flow, of water level water level high temperature alarm uh, is happen when the when the flow rate uh, is decreases and the water no no flow alarm is when the when no flow of water. When the pump is not working, water no flow when the pump is not working. Okay, and uh, water uh, level high temperature alarm when the the flow rate maybe the flow rate is less or something like that due to which the water temperature is high. And water overload alarm is uh, overload. current in the motor is high due to which the the windings may get damaged so as the current increases it it can overheat the windings and can it damage the windings that is why motor load over overload trip is there because the current uh, more draw into it yeah okay mir so we will stop over here my my feedback will be like why um, whenever you are answering na you you look a little bit casual okay so you should uh, like you should look interested and and it is looking like you are saying only monotonously okay some answers you said properly like now this current na compressor safety devices when you answered so at that time na so whenever you are saying na try to be a little uh, let, do little bit movements okay while explaining so it like it it, it, lo it looks like you are interested okay in, in answering and uh, then all these questions now all these questions like 30 to 35 questions these these are the set questions these questions only they will ask okay so keep on practicing ekdam matlab zaban pe hona chahiye answer aise aise sabke sab okay all these so i i suggest all these 30 to 40 questions whatever these questions are there na you practice them very properly see everything okay and uh, you know your stuff okay you know you have knowledge okay but knowing something and telling something na that is different so if you see all these questions na so how how you have to answer that na you prepare that how you will answer it all these questions also so that would be my feedback if so you go through these all questions okay. again okay Yeah. Otherwise, na you you said uh, well, the, you I I say that you are sixty to seventy percent prepared. Seventy percent you are prepared, but that this thirty percent night makes a difference. So for that, na you will have to this thing practice a little bit more. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
still you have time for interview like at least like 15 20 yeah, yeah, days you can work do wonders in the, these many days you know your things you just have to uh, like prepare a strategy that how you will answer them